Hi, I'm Jim Jeffers and I lead Intel's Advanced Rendering and Visualization team. Today I'd like to show you a first look and a deep dive on our first CPU and pre-production XE GPU cross-architecture implementation of the One API Advanced Ray Tracing Provisional Version 1.1 spec. I'm also excited to announce one art, that is One Advanced Ray Tracing, as the name we are giving the provisional spec section evoking the multiple usage from 3D graphics artists for films and games, state-of-the-art uses in scientific discovery, and the creativity involved in 3D product design and architecture. Now we are going to show you live screen capture results from an end-to-end -end film creation process by a professional 3D artist, ending with a short 4K studio quality rendered film backed by one API software infrastructure that enables cross-compute architecture, CPU, and GPU software execution. What's new and exciting is that we'll show you this live creation process was significantly accelerated through combining the concepts and implementation of the cross-platform, cross-architecture, one API software initiative announced just two years ago. Now delivered here with no transistor left behind single code and single API execution, in this case on Intel CPUs and a pre-production XE GPU. Okay, let's dive in and watch a live screen capture of our creator, Matt Wilson, in action. Matt is a former lead artist at Blue Sky Studios, known for the Ice Age series, Rio, Ferdinand, and last year's Spies in Disguise films. Matt is using the well-known professional creator application, Houdini, from SideFX on a Xeon-based workstation without a discrete GPU. The Xeon CPU on this workstation provides plenty of horsepower and the highly flexible general purpose computation Houdini needs to mix and manage large data and computational and rendering tasks. Matt's creative concept for us is to evoke Intel's technology history, especially the launch of the Intel 4004 processor 50 years ago. He creates a modern home with a structure, furniture, and accents hearkening to Intel's tech over the years at the virtual 4004 Moore Drive in a forested area named the Noise Grove. Let's watch as Matt creates a 3D scene with a variety of Houdini's widgets, tools, and views from wireframes to simple direct illuminated shading, and then using Houdini's integrated open source USD Hydra plugin API calling a film quality path tracer built with Intel Embry, the Academy Award winning ray tracing library. During this phase, you see Matt uses a balance of interactive methods to build the scene with the goal to create photorealistic visuals. Such work could become part of a game scenario, an advertisement, or a feature film. Notice Matt occasionally stopping to let the Embry based path tracer approach convergence towards a photoreal image to ensure his vision is being realized. Now in a typical project, the director will want to review and sign off on the creator's close to finish scene, then send it for final frame, high compute, highest fidelity possible generation to a render farm. At this stage, the creator often has a dilemma. A director's time is money and a misunderstanding that causes rework is costly. The director will want camera angle, zoom, tilt, etc. options in the 3D virtual world that's been created, but also owns the look including to ensure the studio or customer's unique style is represented. Till now, the creator needed to decide between presenting close to final real world lighting and look, which can take hours per frame, or risk the look in exchange for high interactivity to allow the director to further craft the shot. Well, today I'm super excited to show you that by seamlessly including our ray tracing accelerated XE GPU platforms via one API methods, the creator's dilemma is eliminated. Here we're showing the same USD Hydra enabled path tracer used on a CPU for the design process using cross architecture one API capability, enabling a real time interactive experience that retains the high fidelity and complex lighting and look while it gives the director the full virtual camera adjustments that can dramatically improve the creative process by reducing the number of work iterations needed to get to final frames. Now you're seeing the real-time screen captured photorealistic walkthrough of 4004 Moore Lane. Controlled interactively at 1080p HD resolution, 
using a combination of open source components, including USD Hydra, Intel Emory, and our AI-based Intel Open Image Denoise Library. To allow high interactivity, the path tracer operates at just one sample per pixel. Note that rendered movies often use 64 or even 2048 samples per pixel, which means 64 to 2048 times the computations. Using the Open Image Denoise AI-enabled library allows us to deliver the highest image quality available for such a method. Take a look for a few more seconds at this screen capture version of the walkthrough, just like a director would, with the full interactive control and high fidelity look needed to make final decisions. Matt Wilson wasn't available for our recording, but we asked him to give us his feedback on the usefulness of this One API technology for creators. Here's what he said. We've typically worked in minutes or hours. Now we're looking at being able to work in near real time on full scenes with complex lighting. That's a whole new world for us. Now I'm also excited to end with another very cool first, a 1,350 frame 4K resolution version of the 1080p real-time capture walkthrough scene rendered using a ray tracing accelerated pre-production XE GPU at 64 samples per pixel using the same USD Hydra API enabled Embry based path tracer, followed by a high fidelity Intel Open Image Denoise Pass for each frame, showing creators have a new option for accelerating photorealistic high fidelity final frame rendering. The visual quality of this mini movie speaks for itself, so I'll let you watch it to the finish. Thanks again for your time and attention.